Carl, welcome to this week's edition Ooh, of the Dugout. Different voice behind there. Where's the pie, mate? Where is he? Work from home. Snowden day today. Oh, Snowden day, Robbie, eh? Pie, man. No good. First of all, we'll kick off with some fans' questions. Craig Caulfield. How does Richard plan to cut down on penalties against the better sides? Uh, cut down on penalties. I think the penalty count was only 8 five on the weekend so I don't know how much more we want to cut down because there were that's not a bad penalty count but you know probably more of what the penalties were for cut out what the penalties were for but eight fivers you're not going to get many less penalties than that in most games um, who answer who asked the question Craig Caulfield it might be that is the what the penalties were for how we cut them down and so we take them out of it but We'll always get, refs will always find something to penalise you for, but, you know, I don't think it's something that Richard intentionally wants the boys to do, he's, he's on them. So, if you see, we try to do a, a lot of things right, um, and different refs have different interpretations of the laws, so it's a tough one, but an 8-5 penalty count I don't think is too bad. Second one then, Chris Scorer. Um, will Liam Harris be the full-time goal kicker while Jack Miller is injured? Um, that's up to the coach, but who knows? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't make those selections. I don't know. Chris, come on, man. I don't know what you're asking me there for. Um, he kicked a few, but missed a few on the weekend. But I don't know. I, th I think we've got a. There's a few kickers in the team, and he may. Yeah, but he may just have to get back into the swing of it. Things, you know it. As long as we're winning, I'm not bothered who's kicking the goals. So then, solid win against Mighton in the Challenge Cup in the last round. Uh, what did you make to the game? Uh, listen, uh, regardless of the score, I've got to show respect to Mighton. Again, just continue playing rugby right till the end. Um, we've tried to stay in touch with them to see if the two boys, how they are. One was his ankle wasn't broken, it was ligaments, and the other one's, you know, neck injury. So. They, did, they had a tough day at the office um, with the injuries they got, a man in the Simbin as well, which was a bit tough for them. But great club. I, I said it before we played them, and they were credit to the club, you know, after we've played. They just boys just play rugby, and when you're on the back of a scoreline like that, years gone by, the community clubs just want to rough you up, and these boys didn't. So, you know, to Des and everyone there at, at Mighton, we, we thank them and we wish them all the best for the season. Obviously, they did play against us here last year, didn't they? It was massive for them to come to a stadium like this and, and to a home of rugby that is, is going very well at the moment, a different side this season. How is it important is it for them lads to come here and, and play their hearts out of the day? It's it's like their Wembley, um, you know, the stadium and everything. It's a good day out for them. And the fans were brilliant too, you know. So we hope we draw them again next year because it's a pleasure to have them here. You mentioned that we were victorious in the game. We've been drawn against Newcastle Thunder in the next round. Just give us your reaction to that draw. Tough, real tough draw, but all you can ask for, you know, if you get a tough one, you can only ask to be at home, and we're at home. Uh, just sorting out with Newcastle, and uh, now uh, when we'll play, we, we may look at playing on a Friday night or a Saturday, uh, waiting for them to come back to us. There's a, a Sky game on the Monday, um, and we do have, you know, there is, like the Rugby League, there is rules. Uh, 48 hour rule so Newcastle good no problem with it but we're just tossing up which one um, I'd love a Friday night lights you know it'll be, I think it'll be special that um, but they're a good side they've, they've, we've seen their scores and it'll be a real tough challenging fixture which I think we all want um, you know with the games we've had even the players are, are wanting to be challenged and wanting to be tested just to see where we are um, so we've got Whitehaven before them, and then we've got Newcastle, um, but we're at home. That's all you can ask. The Challenge Cup came as a bit of a, a safe haven for us last year, really, wasn't it? An impressive couple of games, then moving into a big big money game in terms of off-the-field yeah. benefits, but on-the-field benefits, a, a challenge against Leeds Rhinos ahead of them. Yeah, yeah. How much of an incentive is it for to follow up with something like that again yeah. this season? Well, the bottom four uh, last year come in in the next round, which is Warrington... I think Warrington, Hell KR, Salford, and I um, don't know who's the other one to you. Um, 
So any one of them big boys um, all travel well. Uh, we'll, we'll take any of them, um, but you know we've got a, a massive job on before we even think about that. Would you say then this season it's put probably more? Uh, obviously the bread and butter is the league, but more Catalan. Catalan is the other one. They all pulled from somewhere. Uh, the, the league's your bread and butter. Is that more of a going out there and, and winning and make sure you're doing it as well as in the league and that's just a, a nice added bonus is a challenge cup. Yeah, 100%. Um, as it turns out, we've got Newcastle the week later um, at their ground. So, in the league. Um, you know, if someone asks me the question, which they would, which they have, which one would you take? Um, I'd take both, was the obvious answer, but the league is is the priority. The penultimate question then. Oh, um, yeah. West, Wales. <laughs> West Wales Raiders up next. What are you expecting for them as an outfit? Well, we're expecting a, a tough journey. Um, I hope it's on. You know, we all know what the weather's like, and I've spoke with them today, and they're saying that it's playable today. But we. Um, there's, there's two battles to do here. You've got to get through the battle of the journey, and then we've got to. Um, I think this could. This is their first home game, so we've got to get through that battle as well. They're going to. Um, they're going to come all fun, all guns blazing, and we need to make sure we we leave the journey on the bus and get the rugby heads on when we we get off the bus and focus on the game. Well, that was my last question, really. Obviously, the battle of the game itself, but more about the. The long trip down to West Wales. How will the players, one mentally prepare themselves, and then two physically prepare themselves for that long trip down? Well, we're fortunate. We've we've got you know, Will Free to give us a good, really good bus. Um, we'll prepare. We'll prepare right. We'll have something to eat here in the Kiwi Cafe. Uh, good plug that before we go. Um, so we'll we'll feed the boys and then they can relax. You know, going down to the game, but. You're right. There's there's a battle. It's a mental battle, and then there's the game battle. And it's, you know, it's one we the the players are aware of it. They know it's tough. They hadn't they had the option, um, but they they want to go on the day, and you know, respect to them for that. What was it like for you during your playing days? Obviously, getting yourself to longer away trips was it easy for you to get sacked up for it, or did it take you a little bit more? Uh, maybe a little bit of music in the order. No, I liked it. I, I, I don't mind. I was one of the ones who didn't mind turning up to the ground, you know, late and rushing and get changed and, and get into it. You don't have time to think about it then. But sometimes when you're in the changing room for a good long period, some players like it. I didn't used to like that. Um, so it didn't didn't affect me personally. But uh, others are different. Um, We'll we'll make sure the boys have everything they need on the bus and relax and we'll get there in good time. Hopefully, you know if the game's on, um, you know it's a it's a tough one to call off because it's such a long way to go and we're all geared up and ready for it. So we we want to go and, and get it out of the way. Thanks, Carl. Sweet.